It's very interesting tonight that normally we do these live programs. We go to churches and do rallies in Seventh-day Adventist churches. But we're not in a Seventh-day Adventist church tonight, are we? So we're going to have to find out in just a few moments uh, what church we're in and find out a little bit about the pastor, about his background, and why we came to this particular church. I think you'll be very interested to find out. Once again, we're here in Huntsville, Alabama, and I'm going to ask a friend, a fairly new friend of ours, Pastor Reggie Whitten, his wife Kathy, if they would come up right now. And uh, I probably they should be introducing me since this is their church. <laughs> and uh, Hello, doing, everybody. This is Danny Shelton. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that. Yeah. And uh, Reggie, thanks for letting us come to your church. You know, it's yeah. such an honor to have you and the 3ABN team here. We're just honored and blessed that you're here. We, we um, see that you have a great thing going. I understand you have a wonderful church school. And of something to me that's very important for any church is to have a church school. Yes. Tell us a little bit about your church school. Well, our church school is 14 years old. Matter of fact, we're in the gymnasium uh -huh. now. Uh, we've, we've never had a service like this in this gym. We have a lot of hooping and hollering, but it's for <laughs> basketball games. All right. And uh, so I'd much rather do this where we're giving God honor there through his go. word like this. Yeah. But our, our church school is uh, 14 years old. We started in 1993. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Started at, in our living room. We had five children at that time that were school age. We were homeschooling them around the table. Uh -huh. And one day the Lord spoke to me and told me to open a, a Christian school that would uh, be available to anybody that wanted to come within the community. Mm -hmm. And I was in uh, Colorado Springs doing a crusade, an evangelistic crusade, and driving down the road, Danny. And the Holy Spirit just spoke to me uh -huh. so clearly and showed me what I was to do. Uh -huh. I, I had no money. I had no money to start. Mm -hmm. I, I pulled off the road, went to a cell phone or to a pay phone, called my wife and told her what the Lord had spoken to me about doing. She said, well, let's do it. And I said, well, as soon as we have some money. So I came home. We just started praying and doing this thing around our table. Uh, there was a lady, 84 years old, that I'd met in Florida years ago. She came up to visit with us. We were having dinner at our table. And she asked me, Reggie, what, are you, what is the Lord telling you to do? I said, well, the Lord's telling me to start a Christian school. She said, why don't you do it? And I said, well, I will as soon as I have the funds. She said, well, how much does it take? I didn't know. So I said, well, probably $10,000 would get me started. And uh, she excused herself from the table. I thought she was going to the restroom, but she went back to the guest room, and she brought out a check for $10,000 and right. handed it to me. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Danny, I wish I'd have said it cost $20,000. <laughs> Well, you live and learn. We live next, and learn. We live time, and learn. Next time you'll know. But I have a feeling that you have learned that 10000 just did get started, just what you said. It, it bought a computer. <laughs> <laughs> bought a computer. Yeah. All yeah. right. So the church school, and of course you have a church here, but yes. the church school, you, you have nurtured that. It continues yes. to grow. How many young people do you have here? Oh, it, it will range between 120 and 130. Well, and, that's and we're great. pretty packed out this yeah. year. And yeah. What what age is what what age? Kindergarten, four year olds, all the way through seniors in high school. Is that right? Yes. Well, yes. that's really wonderful. Yeah, right here. Really. Now, are you originally from uh, Huntsville area? No, I'm originally from Mobile, Alabama. Mobile. All yeah. right. We call that L.A. Lower Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> I'm originally from Illinois. Kathy's from Illinois. Yeah. yeah. Really? Okay. All right. What part? Joliet. Joliet. Oh, you're way up in yeah. the uh, up by Chicago, huh? That's right. Wow. It's How long? a suburb of Chicago now. Yeah, that's right. How long have you been here? Well, I've been in Alabama for 38 years. 38 years. All right. Well, you guys have been married then for how long? How long have we been married? You March shouldn't. You know, you know not to ask that question. Yeah, and so do you. You <laughs> probably should know better than ask her. Yeah. I March, know. I'm just asking. To, her. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. On March 4th, it'll be 19. 19 years. 19 years. 19 years. All right. Great. So, you got children? We do. We have five. Five of them. Five children. All right. Yeah, I they're love all it. grown. We got grandkids. Oh, grandkids that's, yeah. coming to the school. Nothing yeah. like them. That's it. Nothing like grandkids. Somebody said if I'd known they were so much fun, I'd have had them first. Absolutely, that's right. absolutely. So, I want you to take the story from there. You're minding your own business, right? You're running a church school, minding pastoring the business. church. Mine's just trying church. to be a nice guy. Yeah. Right. Get along with people and serve just, the Lord. Just doing all but I could some, do. But one day something happened. Somebody came by. Well, one day. One of our parents of our students in our school mm -hmm. came by and handed me this book. This is the copy that he gave to me. Mm -hmm. And he said, Reggie, I respect you. Matter of fact, that person is here tonight. Okay. Yeah, that person is here tonight. Well, the, is he, he or she? He. He, we may he, have to. If yeah, he's here. here. We may bring him up he's right behind bit. me. 
Oh, yeah. He he's right, right behind there. Well, we'll bring and him he up. Come up. We'll bring but him he, up. But he handed bit. me this book, and he said to me, well, Let's that, bring him up now, then. All right. All right. <laughs> hey, this guy, give us your name, please. God Juzang. Okay, God Juzang. Tell you what, stand right over here on the other okay. side of Kathy. And so now, you had one of these books, and you decided to, to bring it and give it to this pastor. Why? Well, Frankly, I I watched Pastor Reggie for some time, and he has a sincere walk with the Lord. Mm -hmm. All right, and I just felt like he would be a nice Seventh Day Adventist Christian. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well that's all right. He was probably eyeing you, thinking he'd I make a nice, eyeing. right? Yes. Non-denominational. What no, I didn't ask right. you is that what you was your church is a non-denominational. Right. Non Thank right. you, boy. He'd make a nice yeah. non-denominational. You know, right. we kind of eyeball right. each other yeah. like that. Right. You know, as Christians. Hi, how you doing? Yeah. I got a friend that when I'd see my friend, I'd always think, man, he would make a great Adventist. 